when's the squash vine borer coming? How can we predict that? It is Daryl who's asked up a limit. So there's no doubt one of the most difficult aspects of trying to have a good bountiful harvest is all those garden pests that inevitably is going to come to your garden. You're not going to have a whole season going through without having some bug issues. But what if, what if we could predict when and what type of bugs are going to be coming to our garden? That'd be really pretty cool, wouldn't it? So there's a service out there called Big Bug Hunt, which is at bigbughunt.com. So what is it? So bigbughunt.com is basically an international research project that was put together by Growing Interactive, which is, uh, I guess, the world's largest provider of gardening software. They're also working in association with the University of York in the UK, with funding provided by the UK in Biotechnology and Biological Sciences Research Council. So the question is why? Well, obviously they put this service together with the idea of, through using different predictive analysis of weather, bugs, bug reporting, to be able to push that information out to us uh, as, as gardeners in our backyard and otherwise. So that we're able to be a little bit more proactive. Um, of course, we should be doing our daily observations to check and find things, but if we, we get it some kind of couple days or a week or more warning, that these particular types of bugs are going to be coming in our area, we can for sure be looking for them closer and put in whatever kinds of organic means we can do to, to, to fend them off. And so what they do is they take the reporting from me, from you, from your neighbor, from the hundreds of thousands of people that would report this information in. They mix that into a predictive model with the weather data um, and then their information about the different bad bugs um, in, you know, in these areas, and they're able to predict when you should see bad bugs, specific bad bugs or types of bugs that are going to be coming into your backyard garden. And that information is sent out to subscribers uh, to this service at their specific location when they should be able to see certain pests, specific pests coming into their garden. All right, so what I want to do is go ahead and show you how the uh, website works. So let's jump on over to www.bigbug.com hunt.com right, and it brings to the big bug hunt 2022 I guess they had not updated 2023 yet but it brings to the home page so it's got a couple different things gardeners unite help create a warning system alert you when pests are heading your way there's a couple of choices here um, let's talk about report a bug all right so what you can do is you go down here which bug did you see it gives you some examples but I'm going to say squash, vine, borer. It'll give you a pick list. You can pick from that. Which plant was it on in here? Uh, let's say it was on a yellow, yellow squash. The address, I'm going to say it's Baton Rouge. That's where I'm at, generally, in the uh, greater Baton Rouge area. And I saw this uh, uh, yesterday. How about that? Boom. So... With this, you can then hit send report. I don't want to send it in because it ended up uh, giving kind of false information. But nevertheless, uh, that's how simple it is. You go in, you just see a, a bug. You go in, you put it in here, when, where you're at, and uh, what you saw and on what plant. What you can do as well is also put in your email address here and subscribe. And so once you do that, you subscribe, then it basically... Um, start sending you predictive information as it becomes available based on the bug type, based on the reports coming in from thousands of other gardeners and of course the information that they have on on, uh, on, on the different kind of bugs and their progression they typically make uh, based on the climate and the weather and those kind of things. Pretty neat little service. Now keep me updated. I'm going to click on that. Again, this is the winner that came up after we put in that entry of where we saw those pests. And this basically allows you to put your email address in and you're able to uh, plug that in. You become a subscriber. When they're ready to push out predictive information about when pests are coming to your area, they do so. And then, of course, help spread the word. I'm going to actually go ahead and do that on Facebook. Um, check out the Big Bug Hunt uh, Research Project. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just put that out there as a feed into my story. All 
All right. All right, down at the bottom left, you have bug identification guides. So it gives you some very useful information um, about different kinds of uh, bugs that we typically see in the U.S. and Canada. And you can switch to the U.K. and European bug guides as well. Um, but you can kind of drill down through here, cabbage worms. Uh, just give you a lot of information. Your old cucumber beetle spotted. I have those, and then these striped cucumber beetles, I see those pretty often. Um, your good old leaf-footed bugs, those are really bad here typically as well. But it gives you some good information, so I'm going to click on the old leaf-footed bug. And it basically gives you, you know, information around the host plants, where it's found typically. Description, how they damage, uh, how can you prevent the problems and manage outbreaks, those kind of things. So. A useful site in and of itself without even being able to give you the predictive nature of when bugs may be coming into your area. So just real quick, what is the big bug hunt? And it does go into some details about the um, idea behind the research and, and the, the companies working together to make this thing happen. Uh, again, again, it's a, a pretty good service. Uh, it's free, obviously, as well. Um, every single entry you put in and that I put in helps both of us as well as everybody else in the garden community to try to be more predictive and, and how we can be more proactive around avoiding those bugs which we know are going to come inevitably every season. So pretty neat system and uh, highly encourage you to, to go ahead and sign up for that. Now the big bug hunt does send out information, of course, the predictions. So if they say that they think you will see a particular type of bug or bugs coming up in your garden, they'll send that out. But they also send out other just useful information about bug identification, um, mitigation, those kind of things. So it's a useful website as it is. And so with input from gardeners like me and like you, we can provide something meaningful um, to other gardeners throughout the, throughout the United States, UK, and there's other areas of the world that's actually research is happening. Um, predominantly, it's the USA, UK uh, region. So we can see how important this information would be. If I know when a squash vine borer is coming, um, I can surely be out, be more vigilant, trying to find them, trying to capture them, do what I can do to prevent them from attacking my plants. That goes along with your um, leaf-footed bugs, your, your stink bugs. Uh, any of these aphids, any of these type of bugs that are moving into your area, and that's what they do. They move progressively based on the weather patterns, or they arise out of the ground based on the weather patterns. And this tool will help us, you know, be, it can be predictive to let us know when things are coming. Hey, if you like this content, do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe, like that video. Feel free to share it. The more people we have reporting these insects, the bad insects, the more we have that reported, the better this predictive model can be and the better it would be for you outside in your, your backyard garden. And I think that's absolutely uh, needed. Um, I look forward to it. And look, talking about squash fine borers, if, you, uh, if you're having issues with them, take a look at my video down below. It's in the description, squash fine borers. And if you like this content, do me a favor, subscribe, like that video, feel free to share it. Remember, Louisiana Simple Living is out here to help you achieve a bountiful harvest delicious food and healthy living. Now get out in your backyard and let's grow something. And as always, I will see you on the next video.